Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and today I am going to bring you a very small experiment. And the experiment today is that can our solar inverter or solar PCO work as a dedicated charger? And you might be asking, well, why should I do that? Why should I use my inverter as a dedicated battery charger? Well, there are two scenarios where this thing can happen. And first scenario is that you use a DC only system and rather than buying a charge controller you straight away went for a, a solar PCU and why should you do that I have explained that in this video you can go ahead and check it out and I have recommended that yes you should always buy a solar PCU price difference is very small you get a free inverter with it. Well, so today what we are going to do is we are going to turn off the inverter circuit. I mean we are going to put that system in power down mode so that the circuit which is converting DC energy into AC is going to turn off and in this situation we are going to check that can the solar PCU charge our batteries using the mains. And yes, I have ran a very similar experiment to this one where I have tested the charging capability using solar. So if you want to check that video again, the videos will be over here in the i button or you can go in the description and check them out. Right. So today's uh, testing is regarding mains. And before we continue to that video, let me explain you the second scenario. So the second scenario is related to vacation. Guys, whenever we are going around in the vacation, what we do is we turn off our inverters and that's there to, uh, you know, enhance the safety to reduce any kind of fire or short circuit hazard. And in that situation, one question might have popped up in your mind. And the question would be that, well, I've turned off my inverter. What is happening with my battery banks? Are those battery banks still getting charged from the mains or not? Because uh, guys, regular viewers on my channel know that if you just uh, put those batteries away and if you don't provide them any kind of float voltage, then batteries become bad due to sulfation in a matter of few weeks. So again, this thing is going to get tested in today's experiment. And guys, before moving on to the experiment, if you want to check more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out the solar energy playlist. All right, let's go and continue today's experiment. Alright guys, so I am here with my solar PC or you can say the solar inverter, the very beloved UTL Gamma Plus. Let me focus this naughty camera for you. Alright, so the time here is at night, so 22.43, that is the night time. And at this time, uh, naturally there is no solar energy. But for your satisfaction, what I have done is I have pulled out these fuses. Now here is how the solar panels are connected. So the solar energy comes here through these wires. It goes to the fuse and then using these wires, it goes up to the solar inverter. So I have removed that as well. And currently, as you can see, this is my multimeter. So no charging is being provided to the batteries at this moment. But we are going to change that in a moment. So let's take a look over here first. So first, as you can see that the system LED is on. Now, what does that mean? That means that this uh, system, this solar inverter is ready to provide power using the batteries and the inverter circuitry is working. So when this uh, thing is on, whenever you have a power cut, this system can provide AC power output using the battery or the solar energy. So what we are going to test here today is that when this uh, system is in a power off mode. So I'll press this switch like this. And there you see the LED went off. And in the event of power cut, this system is not going to provide you backup. So today's question is that in this mode, in this power down mode, this, is the system capable to charge your batteries? So that is what we are going to test it today. And as you can see here, uh, currently the grid charging is disabled. So let me change that mode for you. All right. As you can see, the fans have come up and the inverter has uh, started charging the batteries even when the system is currently powered off. So let's check the multimeter here. Right. So it's charging the batteries using exactly 10 amperes and this is the exact kind of behavior which I was expecting. Now let's increase the charging speed and I'm going to enable this boost charge function over here. So three clicks and there it goes. So boost charging, what that does is that adds 5 amperes. So it is charging the batteries using 15 amperes. Let me show that to you by hitting the hold button. And let's go to the battery menu. Right. 
So 15 amperes are being provided to the battery for charging and let's confirm the same using our digital clamp meter. And by the way guys, if you want to buy such clamp meters, I have a guide over here in the corner for you. And as the clamp meter is reading, you can see that it's uh, detecting 15 amperes being provided to our battery bank from this solar inverter. So what we can conclude over here is that even in power off mode, the solar PCUs are capable of charging your battery bank, be it from solar energy or from the mains. As you can see here, the mains button is on and it is able to charge your batteries even when the inverting circuitry, I mean the kind of circuitry which converts DC energy into AC is currently turned off and that will help you maintain your batteries. So that is it for this video guys. If you like seeing technical videos based on batteries, solar energy or solar PCUs, make sure to subscribe to this channel because subscribing is free. Let's see you again in another video. Take care and have a nice day.